Yeah, I got a lot of transactions to go over. Uh, Blue Jays have zero, so yeah. That was the trade, the Victor Gonzalez, the Yankees trade the free up spots for Otani and uh, Joe Kelly. Uh, obviously, the Dodgers were going to do that. Uh, J Jesus Tico gets some bullpen depth. Ryder, Ben Lively. Seth Lugo was a good pickup for the uh, Royals three years. They go, um, they acquire a couple bullpen arms and Chris Stratton and Seth Lugo, which I. You know, I don't like the Chiefs, obviously. I don't like Kansas City, but for the Royals' sake, this is a good job. At least they're spending money. Yeah, they're not going to go bring the bank, but they're spending money to improve the team, and that's all you want as a small market. Steph Lugo, um, last year with the Padres, had a solid year. You know, maybe a little bit of overpay. Um, three years... Three years of forty-five million. The, the the length may hurt him, but you know he's a solid relief pitcher. And Chris Stratton, more team-friendly contract. Chris Stratton, uh, he's used to um, he used to uh, Missouri. He played for the Cardinals. I forgot what team he played for last year. Oh wait, no, no, no. he went to the, yeah. He got traded to the uh, he got traded to the uh, um, Rangers. Won a World Series. Now he's going to the Royals. Joined his buddy. Uh, Will Smith as well, so, you know, the Royals did a right good job, you know, again, the veteran bullpen arms, you know, he did better with the Rangers, you know, good job, a Jung Ho Lee, which I really wanted, as a Blue Jays fan, I really wanted Jung Ho Lee, but hopefully we get fucking Ballinger or even fucking Soler at this point, man, I'm desperate for a transaction. I'm sick. I'm transaction fatigue, man. There's no fucking transaction. Jung Ho Lee is a beast. This guy bats 300 every fucking time. Great signing by the Giants. Um, they they're still on on Bellinger too, cause he's just a contact guy. Jung Ho Lee. Rowdy Telez, former Blue Jay. Um, uh, had a bad season last year, but you know the Pirates have a rotation. Rotating door on fucking first base, so you know, yeah. Tellez, I think he could have a good season with the Pirates. He can hit at worst, he'll hit like two fucking twenty with twenty five home runs, in my opinion. His average won't be good. He's not good against curveballs and all that. Uh, Dylan Floro, good pickup there for the Nationals. Needs some bullpen depth. Um, Jeter Downs. What a fucking <laughs> the the all we gotta say is that the um the Red Sox got fucking killed in that trade. That's all I gotta say. Uh, Cooper Chriswell signs with the Red Sox bullpen. That Daniel Hudson goes back to the uh, Dodgers. Nationals legend. He signed with the Dodgers cheap two million. He's making the same as Otani. Um, Trace Thompson, Clay Thompson's brother, signs with the uh, Mets as depth minor league contract. Roberto Perez signs with the Red Sox as a backup catcher. Um, Jorge Alfaro signs with the White Sox. I mean, uh, the Cubs as a backup catcher. Um, Johan Ramirez. Designated for assignment. David Fletcher. Um, what the hell does that mean? Outright by Atlanta. I don't know what that means. Uh, Alright, and the Tyler Glasnow trade. They get Margot and Glasnow and sign Glasnow to a long-term contract. Rays get a couple prospects who are probably going to turn out to be good because they're the Rays. Jack Flaherty goes to the Tigers. They upgrade their rotation there. Uh, take a flyer on Jack Flaherty. He's not going to be pitching in a fucking... Bi you know, hitters friendly ballpark. Even though with the fences moved out and with a bigger wall in Oriole Park, it's still a more hitters friendly ballpark, especially with that short, like that big wall at left field, a right field it meant. Uh, Jack Flaherty's gonna do solid. Tyler Malley, he'll miss the beginning of the season, but good pickup by the Rangers. They have a lot of their fucking starters on IL for some reason. You know, Austin Wims, backup catcher. Uh, TJ. Hopkins designated for assignment. Uh, Taylor Clark goes to the um, Brewers. 
you know, in exchange for a few prospects. Uh, Cam Robinson signs with the Mets. Dane Underwood signs with the uh, I mean the Yankees. Uh, trade. Billy McKinney, Blue Jay legend, gets traded to the Yankees for international signing bonus money. And then a guy that I want as a DA, Tunner Renfro signs with the with the damn Royals. Now, obviously, I wasn't pounding the table for him, but, like, Hunter Renfro goes to his, like, 50th team in a row. Power-hitting guy, strikes out a lot, but, you know, he'll add a lot to that Royals team that needs some power. I know it's a big park, but, you know, he can hit some extra bases, too. Um, just a good leader and all that. Tyler Glass, no extension. Michael Walker signs with the uh, Royals, adding to the rotation. Um, the Royals, again, needed some pitching, and they got... They got it. added Michael Walker for a couple years. Um, had a good season last year, and they picked him up. Um, Matt Carpenter traded to the Braves. They said he may get traded or dealt away. He may not even stay with the Braves, but we'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, Ray Kerr, Drew Campbell, yeah. Yeah, the Padres are just trying to um, shred money. Roddy Murrow, Trevor got it. I don't care about this. Trey Wingderg signed a one-year $1.2 million deal with the Tigers. Alfonso Rivas designated for assignment. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Don't care. And then Loris Gurriel re-signed with the uh, Diamondbacks. So the Diamondbacks are having a really good offseason, man. They got Suarez, Rodriguez, and then they brought back Gurriel. So they're having a really good offseason. And they said they want one more bat to add to their um, lineup. So... You know, you can say Dodgers, 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 but the the Diamondbacks are ready for the Dodgers. That's all I got to say. And um, that's all I got to say. Peace. And hopefully the Blue Jays make a fucking transaction. They won't.